I'm standing right inside our parlor. Every year, there are natural disasters across the world that threaten man and all other life on planet Earth. Storms, floods, earthquakes, landslides, erosion, and many others. It was at this level before. Okay. Are you with me? It's very, very deep. deep. Very deep. These disasters cause a loss of life, a loss of property, and a loss of livelihood. <laughs> The Ecological Fund is an intervention fund set up by the federal government of Nigeria in 1981 to tackle various environmental and ecological problems affecting the country. All my labor in government went down. I suffered. Unfortunately, there have been damning reports of corruption within the Ecological Fund office, and the cost of this corruption is significant. Even the people that live in here that have packed away because they don't have any road to enter their house. In 1981, the Ecological Fund Office in Nigeria was created as an intervention scheme to tackle the various environmental and ecological problems affecting parts of the country. The fund was set up through the Federal Account Act, 1981, and was based on the recommendation of the Okibo Commission. The mandate of the office is to reduce ecological problems nationwide to the barest minimum facilitate quality and effective implementation of projects, judicious and equitable utilization of the fund, and effective management of ecological fund projects. These ecological problems include soil erosion, flood, drought, desertification, oil spillage, pollution, general environmental pollution, storms, tornadoes, bushfires, crop pests, landslides, and earthquakes. At the inception of the Ecological Fund, uh, the, the, the percentages for which is deducted as ecology fund, Ecological Fund has really changed from the point of inception to date uh, in different decrees. But I will say that initially the fund, the purpose of the fund was to provide a pool of funds that the government can use to ameliorate the ecological challenges of Nigerians to improve the quality of environment and the, the quality of our, their lives. The overall uh, contribution uh, allocation for ecology and revision monthly is 2.32%. And it is shared as follows. The local governments collectively share 0.60% of that 2.32%. The, the state's government shares 0.72%, while the federal government takes 1%. So the states and local government collectively take 1.32%, while the federal government take 1% of the fund. Uh, our reports revealed that from that 2007, between 2007 and 2011, a total of 164 billion uh, was received into the Ecological Fund account. This is in addition to another 53 billion that was also paid in into that fund from extra SSS grid account. I'm standing right inside our parlor. This is our parlor, and we used to have uh, three rooms here. The three rooms have all been washed down by the flood. And I could remember it took my dad about uh, six years, six solid years to build this house. My salary as of then was 300 Naira with Kogi State Government. So one day my manager woke up, he said, Francis, I said, sir, go and join cooperative, 50 Naira. So every month they did all 50 naira from my 300 naira. We started eating on food. Guinea corn, we grind it. Uh, beans, they grind it for soup. We don't even know fish or meat. 
If I request her for loan of uh, half a million, they will give me. I will use some years to pay, another five years. When the money came, we packed ourselves. All the children, we went into the river, started carrying sand. Hmm? Uh, we employ a bricklayer. We wet. In fact, most of the day we spend it there before going to the wood house we had before. It took him six years to build this house. Because he used to collect loan. So I just saw that within a day, within a second, that the labor of about six years has been washed away within a second. The flood affected us tremendously. We lost everything. Today, we we'll will not be able to count our property that we lost. Because we cannot move anything out, we are just after the, the souls of the children and the little fowl that come out. All my labor in government, all my labor, I take Gary and Kuli Kuli to see that that place come what it is. Yes. I suffered. You know, if, if we lost a car, we could quantify, oh, a one million naira car was lost to the flood. But if that car were to be the source of income for a family, then it becomes a bit difficult to quantify. And if, as a result of that, a father is not able, or a mother is a breadwinner, is not able to meet their responsibility, and a child, for that reason, maybe is lost to preventable disease, or becomes, um, um, as you say, a delinquent, you really cannot place cost to this. If these funds were channeled specifically to tackle these issues, maybe uh, we will have some kind of relief from this challenge. But if travel across the country, length and breadth of this country, not with the challenges may differ, but there are ecological problems all over the country. Sunana Muhammad Kabir Usama, Kabir Zakaria Usama, one day I kick it out of Usama. So, she Karuna Hamsa, 50 years. Kuma Sana Ata Itane Butchers, one day I kick it out of the House of Power. I can now make it. Mona Zona Lapia Napita Natapio Jankara, too, preaching the Ike the Azimi Natapser. One na lua Allah ya kawo mana shi. Ina chan, sana kira mwaya na basa mene basa boda waya na ya sa muda mwa. So, ni kumada muka taashi, mwenshugwa moto, mwengto gida, bayantinda na shugwa nguwa muna fara gana mwasa loli na lua, lua ya pasa gida aje, wano gure nyazibe dika, wano gure lebi yazibe, akwe wani nebos, umu na zoe che mwengu, ayo lua ya pasa taki nyara nshi, yara nshi hudu suntapi. Kai, na shugo lai mu na zo na gapili ina zo a kona dana nje gida na se na gida na ba bu ko mai ba abende lege se pilongole nkwa. So day muna taka atikulua dalua kama noje iya kizina na. Mana yao ina ni mansu unugulu umpadi chicken utaka dua sudeme harusega yangua sunzo kuhunu broda na salu hudeti deshi da laje hanza sunzo sana zua skapara kuka bagaje ba tu ina gesi na dustori tarasu tu loka chenda skapara kuka loka chenda nima krag ya para zuamu na para kuka ina zubad Hawaii. Muka pada bela pi tinda gana angguamu har zala kicang wajah mata ta indah kekira zala kicang hanya bauci mungbela pi akapa tu agulin napala samun gawanya linya nagu dada muna zone ake munga zoom jeja matu gagau mata na ansam acang wajah bayi university awal nela pi tu bayang hak aku makan segalira nan telata kuana dedeng abung si ne muna zone na maka cha gagawa ya rana gudabiu ansamu uzo ngani sune. Na jena buu de alipia suda zani yaka nataga nage sune. 
da Abdul Hamid da Ita Hawau so the following day aka kara cewa ga wasu gawa an samu guda biyu yanzu in duba ko yara na ne shine na zo na duba na ce lalle wannan yara na ne to yaro dai ne daga ciki shine last born Zakaria u shine ban samu gawar shi ba amma akwai yan road cross da yan agaji na jama'atun nasara al-islam sun same ni sun ce an samu gawar yara na a gadar maiwa amma an binne su to ina cikin kitchen naji karan abu bun kaman bomb haka karan shi to na aji abin da zan yi kafin in fito ma ni ma ruwan ya shiga kitchen dan yayi rabi ma na fito tsakar gida shi ma ruwa ya cika haka yana ta ambaliya ba halin da zan shiga can din dan ita ma da take daki ruwan ya hurgo ta nan sai tana in taimake ta in taimake ta sai na rike ba ta nu muna tare to sai ruwan ya dada ambaliya haka sai muka je bakin kofa ya kai mu nan din muna so mu bude kofan kofa ya ki buduwa to sai ruwa yana ta karuwa gini kuma yana ta sauka ragagagagan haka yana ta kara to sai ne kokarin akan niman mana taimako anan ina ta kiran makotan mu akan suka mana taimako bas ba wanda ya ji to na kokarin hauka tangan nan har na kama sai Allah bai bana fado to da ruwa ya sake ambaliya sai na shiga gan na dakin nan rago shi kuma yana tsaye a sama ruwa bai tafiya to sai na rike shi da taimakon Allah na rike wannan rago har na samu shi ne na hawo wannan katangar can gidan na kama shi sai na dira gidan to bayan na dira gidan still ruwa ya sake ambaliya sai katangan su suma ya zube hanyar fita din kenan daga gidan ba hanyar da zan fita to sai da muka tsaya muka ga ruwan ya dan tsagaita kadan sai na fita muna ta neman taimakon mutane samari suna gangarowa ana zuwa a daddaga ko suna nan ba a gan su ba sai aka ba zama neman su hanyar da ruwan ya ji to ba a samu wani ba kalil da aka fara samu shi babban yaro na wasu sun sunce shi a can din da ruwan ya kai shi akan katifa suka kai shi gidan su to shi aka dauko shi dai da ke kan shi nan ya tsage aka kai shi asibiti a ranar to zuwa dare kuma shine aka sunci gawan ita yarinyan yayin shi da suka zo tare an sunci gawan ta a can bakin titi Bauchi Joshua a gefen kwalbe ta ka ruwan ya wajen ya wurgar da ita a gurin to wa shigari ita kuma kai rasi in Allah wa shigari da Allah ya kai mu sannan aka ga gawar ta ita ce ta fisu ni sama dan ruwan yayi gaba da ita sosai har wajen university ya tsallaka da ita can dutse ne ma ya tare ta a gurin aka samu gawar ta da safi ita kuma dayar yayi su ba a samu gawar ta ba sai da akai kwana uku da faruwar abu ran uku kenan da safi misalin karfe 10 na rana aka ga gawar ta yara wai sun je suna diban bakwal a gurin ya shi to sai suka ga suka taba kafan mutun a gurin shi yayi da yayi da ya rufe ta shine suka suka fada sai aka je aka dauko sa aka yi mata tafda ita na rukuta aka yi mata jana'iza in the last two decades money from the ecological funds have often been used for activities other than what it was set out for between 2009 In 2011, the federal government withdrew 94 billion naira from the 141 billion naira accrued to the fund to finance its budget deficit. A senator representing Yobe South, Mohammed Hassan, who sponsored a bill for reform in the ecological funds, emphasized that in the past 15 years, 500 billion naira has been siphoned and diverted for issues unrelated to the ecological funds. The fund is not just susceptible to corruption, it is a cesspool of corruption. And I'm speaking based on the project that we have tracked. For example, in 2016, the audit report indicted certain agencies under the Ministry of Water Resources that were saddled with the responsibility of overseeing implementation of projects in say for example in Kwara state in Oshun state and in um, Ogun state in Kwara state for example there was Malete waterworks to serve the community 
this was meant to be a very big reservoir where the community can get water to drink because you know how rural communities are. One billionaire was the contract sum for that project. And that one billionaire was actually released for the implementation of that project. When we tracked this project in 2018, 2018, because the project was meant to have been implemented in 2013 or thereabouts, we tracked the project and we realized that it was completely abandoned. Or is it in, um, I think it was in Oshun State, where we also had Ibu Jai. It was meant, there was, also supposed to, um, there was supposed to be a dam there for the sum of, I think, 134 million naira. And this was released. It was meant to be 192, that was the contract sum, but 134 was released for the implementation of that project. It was poorly done, so it was, in fact, it was abandoned. This is Oma village, one of the six villages in the town called Eke. Then the place we are right now is Amube community. It's the worst devastated in Eke in terms of erosion. We are predominantly farmers. If you go around my community, you see areas that have been devastated by flood, erosion. You go to some schools that have been, the classrooms have been pulled off by wind disaster. If, if, if you had a thorough, you see that erosion, there's a part of the school, erosion is uh, devastated there. The flood something has been uh, some, a perennial problem, year in, year out. Once the rains come, we have this problem. It has been for years, even when I was, right from when I was young. If you can see now, here is gutter that water used to. And the, 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 this level now is the level of the road. You understand? But erosion has made it to be very, very deep. That when you are even here, you cannot see anybody that is passing here because it's just like a graveyard. I don't know how to express it. But very, very deep. They used to drive inside this compound, but now nobody can drive inside this compound again because of the erosion. Even the people that are living here that have packed away, they are no longer coming home because they don't have any road to enter their house. Sometimes if we are uh, in, in the midnight, we may stay at our room empty rain after the rain will not see where to put leg because uh, 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 water will cover this church, even the back and down, down to that bush. He has to stay and wait some hours so that the water will pass before we go out. You can see the havoc, the erosion is going to be into the uh, foundation. There's no crack at all. So it's because of the erosion that the people here have left the that they are both at least another truck or compound that the people have vacated because of the erosion. Nobody's living here again. If you look at the building under construction here, the barrister, the barrister, and because of the problem he's having there, even bringing materials for the building, he just thought of maybe abandoning the, the, the whole thing, the whole idea, the whole project. So, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going I'm planning to the plant in the morning. I'm going to chew. I think in Karakarana, I'm going to start planting the maniba. I'm going to do do a yakasha planting. Babushi. Do you know you need the mukei? Come up a block cement to cut the rushi. Do one size the rushi. Kaga yero na bu shine damam. Kuma gomneti ba mugani to mukone sne amuna ba. Sakaniga Allah. Baran the gomneti yazo uru mache gaben de suke kau. When they say to my chemo, Mamuganiva Kumamuna, a carcassia, and Nina call me in Wagari. Miss Wadahaka, you want a woman as a film. A Nancy Gingering Ashara, Kuaka number, San Nankuma, a cousin Ashara, 
that is a masarautan ashara ko baka nan muna da damuwoyi da dama wanda for long eh muna dai kai kuka mu ma gwamnati amma ba samu taimaka muna ba ana yin wai su kadan kadan amma gaskiya taimako kan wani a zuwa gani gaskiya kan babu kaman asaran manomi na gona erosion na gari sannan kuma da su kwalbar da gadajin haka sannan ma kaman musas fe kaman munan cikin nan cikin garin ashara community kamar rafin mu da aka kai ki in kin duba rafin da muke sha kenan sani ya su zo su yi tafiya su wuce a ciki sannan kuma a sake je a lallaba a kawo a sha pump guda ɗaya ba mu da shanun gari from one of 100 or 200 years. ba mu da pump ko guda ɗaya munan talaka ba ne most of us gida gidan da suka rushe a garin nan ba a kirga bayan ma yin magana sauran wurare ba akwai wani gari can ana sunan shi cakami gari ki garin ga kusan ina ga dakunan da suka rike a garin ba za su wuce biyu ko uku ba duk ruwa ya zo ya rushe ruwa ya zo har cikin gida gabaki da they have to leave the environment for almost one week kamar su saki dawo and presently kamar wani su wanda ruwa ya kwashe musu gonaki yanzu ko an je wuri yanzu because mutane ne wanda suke noman damina da noman rani people are losing property people don't have access road for their raw materials for their farming sometimes the farm produce are washed away by erosion sometimes lives are taken away uh, in the history of this country state government are quite a lot of state government have treated ecological fund as free funds from federal government our people have been known to have embezzled ecological fund in billions you know and this has happened in quite many states some governors former governors are a part of the reasons where they are either behind bars or they are preparing their space in the prison now has to do with mismanaging ecological funds on the 12th of june 2018 joshua darie was convicted and sentenced to 14 years imprisonment on charges of criminal breach of trust and misappropriation of over 1 billion naira ecological funds for plateau state while he was governor of the state from 2002 i think specifically every tire of government receives her own share of ecological fund at the monthly meeting and that's it nothing nobody questions them they are a tire of government so their citizens should question them and ask them what they do with their money we can only do the president's money where of president staff we do what he has asked us to do so as far as i'm concerned there's nothing like there's no oversight ecological fund really no i don't really know anything about dasha Sincerely speaking, today is my first time of uh, hearing about the ecological fund. Don't know anything about it. It's funds that are certainly made for certain projects that cost disasters to its citizens or environments. Most of our state governors do not really use these funds as it were. And then the federal government does not have mechanism trying to see how they can check and ascertain precisely if these funds are used judiciously for the interests of the masses. It was only a stream that passed through here before. Uh, people were even walking through the stream. Even many churches were baptizing their uh, uh, members inside the river. Very clean and everything. However, along the line, the Lagos State government started diverting with respect to town planning and so on and so forth, diverting a lot of canals. And incidentally, this Oki area happens to be a confluence where a lot of rivers meet, come to combine. And all the canals that have been diverted, over 30 of them, the water comes down here. And it is the diversion of the canal that actually increased the uh, 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 water. No landlord in this area can uh, put any tenant inside any bungalow. Any upstairs, you cannot put tenant in any uh, uh, the downstairs. And nobody, if your house is a bungalow, you cannot stay when there is flood. You have to carry all your family and everything and forget you about your property. Sleep. You cannot sleep. You cannot sleep. You will die it is in the night or in the morning. Yeah. And we have several examples of that. That day, we are about to go to mosque to go and pray. 
this damp, damp oil just started. Within an hour, the whole place is flooded. And carry my children, because my children are, they are just uh, little kids there. I've got to carry them to a safer place outside the area. Look at, that's Demo Street Bridge. That's the bridge there, constructed. Anytime water is coming, the it, moment water rises above that level you are seeing under the bridge, and it hits it, that uh, yes. wall, it comes back because water overflows that, that particular bridge. It will cover it. You will it see will anything. It. And then it will now push, it will be pushed back. Even where and we are standing, as, as high as it is now. You can't eh? stay here. You, you, you can't stay here. It will, the water will fall. Because the water will be above your neck. Many channels were being diverted to the stream. So from there, the stream was polluted till today. It's increasing year by year. It, 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 because every year, there are so many uh, drainages being diverted to the canal. It has affected us that we can not even quantify both life and property. Somebody who worked in government for 35 years eh, is uh, uh, opportune to be the house. But now you cannot live inside that house because of the flooding. This house, all the tenants for down floor, Nobody there since about eight years. Nobody there. The landlord said, don't want any problem. All the time, people begin to pack out. This place too. In the blue school here before, it's a church. But they take one part, the blue school, they don't pack out. Everybody is preparing for the rainy season now. That's why Baba they do their own there that making no come carry his house. That the flood where, where we are talking about, when the water they come like this, it could begin the room like this. If small children go inside, you will roll it. You will roll it. Since ten years I'm be here and be experiencing this every year. When it is June, July, August, we have to move out from our house. Because all our property is gone. There's nothing left, including my business, as you can see. Nobody here, even though everybody is moving out, everybody is packing out because of this flood. It's affecting a lot. That which I can't even, I can't see. There's somebody in this house again, no? Nobody can live here. They can see. Before, can, 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 you, can, you, can you still enter this place, but can, can I enter again? You can see now. You have decided the house now. You can see the fence collapsing. You can see how the bus system was at this level before. It was at this level before. Are you with me? At this level, you can see the way it was. If not, people, have, you can see them dumping their. If not, the stones that they drop, they're very, you know, it's very deep. Oh, very deep. It's like if you come here, it's raining. You pity yourself. We don't even. Have, the children will not be able to go to school. That was a baby or maybe a school boy. It was uh, a road there to wherever, inside the lagoon. We couldn't to trace this guy. Up till now, we don't know. Maybe he has been found, we couldn't know. I was <laughs> born in the village of Anangali. I was born in the village of Anangali. I was born in the village of Anangali. I was born in the village of Anangali. Nebu ang ay puma ay ma ay fina anangeren ni ma kuma ang ay fini anangeren mo de ba ba masalar mo ba wana abu deke ba tama na lo ray ila ilung wana ambali elua dateke adabar mo shi shi wana ngu deke gudana elua eke toho wa gudan deke zeziwa shi ne eke okar bumbu na eke tika wa dakasa eke lo de wa agun eke wa masali ay wa kamangu ngada ama har kaman nampat na tabatan miki. Bazi magani ba ruwa inyezo de kalifi ze tuli wana ze tuli wana bunguna ruwa inyezo ya adabim muda sa abun atakete maadi duwa ni itasu de 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 inyezo wana ngo ruwa chida ba chide hewa te hewa te gobang ama awa nara na ba de ba chiba wana waba sa sala sebi de ruwa yamusiyawa yai yawa tumutikaragaski yai yawa ruwa mtumbade yokuancha wama bali 
balle ya tafi gidansa kuma iyalan sa suna can abaje ba wadda yace ba wadda ya karya ba wadda yace komai ba fudda suke ci kowa sai dai kuka kuka da ido kowa iya kuka iya ciya ina za su sa kansu ina za su sa kansu matsaloli da dama don inda ta banganar ruwa ne ruwa dai ba komai ba ba karamin ta adiya mana ba tunda ya cinye mana gonakin ba gida zan da muke zaune ya gagare mu makwancin da za mu zauna babu dama daga an ce ka kwanta zaki ji an canna ihu babu tashin hankali wallahi bamu taba samun tashin hankali irin na ba na ba a kasar nan bamu taba samun tashin hankali ba dangane da ruwa tunda daga ka kwanta ne za a canna ihu malaje babu kwanci hankali jinga ka dinga ta fama kenan malaje suna ta fama shan wahala bamu da mataimaki sai Allah haka muka dinga ta fama shan fama a dangane da ruwa muna zauna a gidajen kitin kana wani dakin maka koma wani dakin ka gagara girki a tsakar gidanka ta gagara garin da kaka zauna babu dama sai da ka tare ka tafi garinku yara daga muhayya ayyamu idan aka ce iyu ga baki dai za mu fito kofar gida tabida akwai lokacin da aka fara ruwa karfe 8 ina tunana aka fara ruwa ba a tsaye da ruwa ba har karfe 4 muna tsaye muna kwarfa na shiga na fito waje muna kwarfa da me gidana na shiga dakin na tar da ruwa ya cinye ayyan tukuna na tsame su na dora su akan gada na tsantsama kasan dakin wannan wannan gada an yi ta ne wannan wannan kwata wannan kwata kwalabati da ake kwalabati ana yi tun nainte kuma aka zo go gaba daya ya rubza saboda ruwan ya fi karfin gada ya shafe ciki ya shafe kasa ya shafe ko ina ma duk nan furwa ne fa ya cika fa duk nan ya haje ka cika kaga wancan gurin ma hakimin garin nan shine yayi kokari aka zo da 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 motoci ake ta zaba kasa a gon ake ta zaba amma ba zai ba zai ba zai hukunta ba ruwan ya zo gaba iya ya afka gurin shine gon ya rugurguje ruwa yake yake ya ambaliya wannan go kaga can ma container a lokacin ma da aka yi ruwa ya ambaliya mutuka danga wancan ramuna ga mutane a sarari da likafanin su a jikin su sai da mutanen gari aka zo aka taimako aka zo mutanen aka zo da mutane a cikin gari aka fito da su sannan aka zo ake bunne mutanen nan ake musu sabon kabari duka ake mai su ake rufe su masalolin gari muddin aka bar wannan gurin zai cinye garin maruwa idan aka bar dai ba mu komai wannan gurin ba duk mutanen gurin za su tashi gaba dai su su tashi gida na ruwa daga can cikin ma nake amma ruwa yana nan duk a takaita ma dai ya zo so gida na ya kwanda anything that we can do to improve the quality of utilization of the small funds we have is now an important step secondly any collaboration we can come up with that will also begin to make nigerians take actions that we reduce their impact their negative impact on the environment will also be useful So yes the fund is there is a drop in the ocean vis a vis what we have on the ground there must be accountability and accountability cannot be achieved by mere harmonizing people must see that there is a direct consequence for their misconduct a situation where somebody is alleged to have stolen 1.2 billion and the case went on for 10 years So what if he died? What if he ran out of the country? Most often in Nigeria this has almost become the pattern. The higher the figures you have misappropriated or stolen, the big, bigger the chances that you walk away. So the person who steals a hundred naira or who steals a tuba of yam is likely to languish in jail than the man who steals billions of naira meant to you know bring reprieve for people in under that situation openness and uh, secrecy don't go the same way when there is secrecy you cannot trust that the process will be transparent transparent so we, we expect the governance structure that are built along this line a governance structure that defines who gets what and how a governance structure that defines procedure a governance structure that is very specific about value for money a governance structure that ties all requests to the original objectives for which the fund was met a governance structure that puts in place a uh, human capital built on competency and uh, integrity in the management of the fund 
a governance structure that also defines and provides information and enlightenment on how affected communities all over the country can access the fund. There need to be a very strong governance structure for the fund. Monitoring and evaluation mechanisms that would ensure effective utilization of ecological funds at national, state, and local government levels should be established. The process of disbursement and utilization of the ecological funds at all levels should be made open and transparent. Government should publish all funds disbursed to all levels of government, as well as the Ecological Funds Office, for the purpose of managing ecological challenges in Nigeria on a monthly basis. There is a need for a strong governance structure for the effective management of ecological funds in Nigeria. This should provide adequate information on how the funds are accessible by government at all levels and create awareness on its utilization among Nigerians who are its direct beneficiaries. The disbursement of ecological funds at all levels of government should be tied to specific projects relevant to addressing ecological challenges in the country.